This clip is from the Chunky Collection. It's called Retail Therapy from Trika at the Cuteness Boutique Shop on Etsy. Use my PR code, Vicky20. And I'll be working, this is my week number six, showing you that. I'll be working on week number seven entry in the faith-based box, 12-week devotional promises of God. I will also be reading scriptures from this modern English creative journaling Bible. And I'm using some of the items from Michelle's faith-based sticker shop, Vin Von Alley. Use my PR code, Vicky20, to save on your purchases. So take out your devotional book, Bible, journal, planner, and join me in week seven's entry. I'm going to read from the devotional. It's week seven. Sometimes we have to wait on God's promises to be fulfilled. And it doesn't always happen in the time frame that we expect. Joshua and Caleb were two of the spies that went to spy out the promised land. Caleb reminded Joshua of the promise God had given Moses and that they were the ones spoken of in that promise. Caleb had to wait over 40 years to see the fulfillment of God's promise to him, and he also received blessings during his wait. This not only shows the faithfulness of God, but that when we are patient, we also receive unexpected blessings. Joshua received many promises from God. One of the promises that God had given him was that he would be with him just as he was with Moses. And that's from Joshua 1 and 5. God also promised him that everywhere that the soles of his feet touched would be given to him. Joshua told the people of Israel before he died that every one of the promises that God had given to him were fulfilled. Joshua 23, 14. We can see here by Joshua's testimony that God is a promise keeper. What promises are you waiting on to be fulfilled? Whatever they are, know that it will come to pass. Prayer. Lord, thank you for peace and comfort in the midst of my waiting. In Jesus' name, amen. Also, the reading, um, you should read Numbers 13 through 14, the entire book, and Joshua, the entire book. And Numbers 1, 1 through 5 is the scripture that I am pasting in the devotional. Also, the um, other scripture is Numbers 13, 27 to 28. And then Joshua 23 to 14. And Joshua 1, 1 and 5. And these were all the focus points of the scripture. And as I finish up decorating, and you finish up decorating, or writing, rather, just focus on the promises of God.
Here's my week seven entry. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for spending your time with me. Until next time, I hope today your heart desires. Latest.